So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today, it's episode number three, is it? I think we're only on the third or fourth episode, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I wanted to sit down last week and play a lot of matches on the weekend, unfortunately I came down with a cold, my nose was running like a tap, and I was unable to do what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, I do apologise for the week-long absence of not putting an episode out, uh, just, I got sick. And, uh, shit happens. Anyway, we're back. Uh, in the last episode, we saw Ronaldo picked up the UEFA Best Player in Europe award. Messi finished second. And Luis Suarez finishing in third. At least that's uh, somewhat sort of realistic. So we did pick up our first win. Our first couple of goals as well. And banged in in the last match. Yeah, where we won, I believe, 2-0 uh, against Burnley. There it is. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You know. Some, some reasonable goals to check out, although more defensive errors. Uh, we had the Champions League draw as well in the last game, and today we're going to be finishing off this month uh, playing Crystal Palace at home. Pretty confident about that one. Uh, they've lost their first game and drawn one. And then we're going to have the last day of the transfer window and see what other ridiculous transfers <laughs> are going to happen, because there are quite a few that I don't really understand why... Can I mean, kind of just sort of fix those? It does kind of ruin, you know, the realism a little bit. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, we can say Tanzebe, or we can see Tanzebe has left on loan, and Mitchell has also left on loan. I'm probably not going to be buying anyone. I mean, ultimately, do I need anyone at this point in time? Probably not. Maybe a forward just because. Um, Ibrahimovic, I won't really play until sort of come after Christmas. But anyway, let's have a look at some negotiations and what's going on. We've got some action. Oh, these are just these two players that have gone. All right, well, point is telling me that. All right, so let's have a look what's happening here for the Crystal Palace matchup. See who's awake and who isn't. Coming up against Zaha, the former United man. It looks like Luke Shaw had a... A bit of a late night last night. All right, well, we'll put Damien in there. Why not? The Italian isn't too bad. Luckily, Pogba is up for it. This is the same side I put out uh, for that Burnley matchup. May just keep it the same. Actually, Ashley Young is buzzing for this game. But you know what? I, as much as I, I don't really rate Ashley Young a whole lot, if I'm being honest, I just... I don't know. I, he's not, for me, a left-back... I know he plays there, but oh, I don't know. It just never really does it for me. United have got positions that they do need to fix and sort out. Let's put Rojo on the bench. I think we'll just stick with this. You know, it worked out in the last game. We've got to get that team spirit up there. Uh, Lindelof was pretty good with Barney at the back. What about Rojo? Maybe we could give him a first bash this season. Uh, nah, let's just leave it. Actually, you know what? We will make one change. We will put David Gea back between the sticks because that is a, a necessity there. So there it is. That's the side we'll go for. That will do. Um, we are playing at home. That's going to give us that slight advantage. When we do unlock Legendary again, you know, we may go sort of Legendary away from home and Superstar at home. That kind of might be my reasoning. But we'll see. I think we'll go for that one. Anyway, there's the two teams looking good. We are at Old Trafford, although technically it is an Old Trafford because they're not licensed. But anyway, let's do it. So there is Romelu Lukaku. Two goals in his last game for Manchester United, getting him off and running in that new Red Devil shirt. It's United. It's Crystal Palace. We're live at Old Trafford. Let's do it. So here we go, conditions are perfect. Manchester United, uh, this may even be their first home game of the season. So the fans will be expecting something a little bit special from them, surely. As uh, Popper tried to feed through Mata. Crystal Palace with a defeat and a draw in their opening two games. Zaha tries to whip that one in. Bailly comes across. 
There's Lindelof. United took a little bit of time to get going in the last game against Burnley. It wasn't really until the second half that you felt they were in control and were just sort of dictating the play. And they get off to a start quick and early here with Antonio Valencia. Trying to deliver it in. Falls on his ass. On his backside. Commentators wouldn't say the ass word. But this is unscripted, unexposed commentary at its finest. Here's Zaha. Martial's had to come back. It's a good challenge, but it is a corner. How will the delivery be? Goodbye. Pretty decent right peg towards the near post. Flicked on. And that has come off the crossbar. What a chance this was. And De Gea was beaten. That's a let off. And Luigi not too pleased. That opening start. And here comes Mata. What a time here. It's a lovely ball. It's Romelu Lukaku. And that is clinical. And United nearly conceding. And now they're leading. And Lukaku's third goal in two games. Set up by Mata. Look at this cheeky little ball over the top. Great control and a clinical finish. So Luigi going from uh, <laughs> one emotion to the next in a matter of seconds. The type of manager who does love to celebrate, very much like Jurgen Klopp does. Valencia, that is naughty. And the referees played the advantage. Challenged by Bahi. The referee could even come back technically and book him for that. Mkhitaryan, Valencia. Pogba, Mata. Towards Martial. Nice play by Pogba. Mkhitaryan, Mata. A lovely play by United. The referee's given a foul here. Very, very dangerous position. Sacco's not too pleased about it. It's going to be Pogba, and that's 2-0. That is a peach by the Frenchman. And there's the dab. Well, it's as cool as you like. We'll have a look at this. Up and down over the wall. Pure pinpoint. And the wall didn't jump, and that was the problem. Pogba, first goal of the season. Damien, United attacking in numbers. Pogba, well that is absolutely brilliant by Pogba and luckily for Crystal Palace they got a foot in. Foot is about to pelt one. Loftus cheek. That's a name and a half. Never done bad Crystal Palace with keeping possession but it's just trying to find a way through. There's a lot of red shirts back at the moment. Lindelof backing away. Zaha towards that near post. David De Gea. As good a hands as anyone. And here comes Mehitarian. Mata. Back towards the Armenian. Lays it through. It's going to be Lukaku. Try to curl it. And it'll be the final corner of the half. Mikitarian to swing this one in. Looking for that near post. Lukaku got there come back out towards him and he's carelessly drifted offside there's the confirmation and the second half is off and running Martial has been replaced by the young up and coming Marcus Rashford very very similar in play styles those two Luigi's pretty confident after that first half that United will have just enough to see this one out the next 45 minutes. 2-0 up at home against the side that have yet to win a game. Disappointing if they didn't pick up the maximum. But we all know what the Premier League is like and anything can happen. Pogba is playing around with it, playing with himself. Here's Wickham. Goodbye. 
Ben Gore with a long ball over. Garmin's missed it. Wickham, Zaha, back towards that near post. Bahi with a great clearance. Swung in once again, flicked on. Damien gets it away this time. Lukaku's found Lukaku. Lukaku's not on the same wavelength. Goodbye. Zaha, he's seen a lot of the ball this game. Good bit of play here by Crystal Palace. And Wickham denied by the Spaniards' outstretched left palm. Tipping it round the post. Nicely worked though here, isn't it? Zaha, he's caused problems all game. It's a decent effort. It's a big save. Chance for the corner. Swung in towards that near post. Cleared off the line. And Crystal Palace are back in this one. It's Sacco. It's two goals to one. And what a game we have now. Well, this all stems from a corner, and United have had problems all game defending corners. And it's a, just an absolute mix-up at the near post. It's a good ball in. No one's picking Sacco up. Initially wins the header, comes off Valencia, off, I think, by and rolls it. Matic. Matter. Towards Matic, finds Pogba. A little bit too much with it. Rashford. Pogba. Matic. Back to Pogba! And that wasn't far away, was it? Great link up play. The Frenchman playing it to Matic. Back to him with a deft touch. Tried to bend it around the defender. It's about foot wide. Uh, United are going to make two changes. Fellaini coming on and Ashley Young. Replacing Damian and Mata. Maybe the manager feels like United. They're not comfortable at the moment, are they? Here's Mihitarian. No one wants to make the challenge. That's a pretty much routine save, I was going to say, by Hennessy. He's completely spilled the beans there. Pogba. Rashford. Lukaku. Off his cheek. You've seen a lot of the ball today. Rashford goes flying in. Darpo. And Annals. United not dropping off as deep as they were. Still, we've got over 10 minutes to play. This could go any way at the moment. United have not had the best second half. Touched by Valencia. It's done really well there. Matic. Italian. Was big Belgian of Fellaini. Hard to miss him with the size of his afro. He's done well. Lukaku back towards Fellaini. Here's Zaha. Here's goodbye. We played Matic. And sometimes you just got to make those changes to try and get the team back to. Uh, a different mentality, you know, you just switch off momentarily when you are leading by a couple of goals. And that's what's happened here with the United. Wait a minute, they've got caught the wrong side here. And Ashley Young with the fresh legs. Manages to get back in a flash. Fellaini, that's a horrendous pass given away. And now United have got the wrong side of their man. And from 2-0. It's 2-2. Ladapo comes on and scores. And where on earth is the centre back here? Fellaini's the one who gives it away. Poor pass. There's a massive hole. Lindelof goes walker bounce. And then he does the rest and finishes it off. And we are all square with a couple of minutes to spare here. But Fellaini, what are you doing? Get rid of it. Don't play around with it. And then the forward does the rest, and he's given Crystal Palace a lifeline to possibly win this. So from 2-0 up, it is now 2 all. Got about four minutes left, plus stoppages. And here's Fellaini towards Lukaku. United will be absolutely kicking themselves. Luigi will be furious. And Fellaini's going to have to go and take his medicine. Giving the ball away. Well, that's a poor place to give it away. Rashford 
towards Young. Can't quite get there. United are pressuring here. Which is probably how they should have played the whole half. It has finished. United to Crystal Palace 2. 2-0 two from the first half for United. And 2-0 for Crystal Palace in the second half. And let me just tell you. Luigi is not going to be happy with the way with that one and how it's ended. There's a shot count. It was pretty even. And to be fair, Crystal Palace deserved it. Man of the match was the Dapper when he came on. So, oh dear. Well, that might be the last time you see Fellaini. Absolutely useless. Anyway, uh, Chelsea beat Man City. Arsenal drew against Burnley. Everton beat Newcastle. Uh, Leicester lost to Stoke. Tottenham beat Watford. Uh, sorry, Tottenham beat West Ham. Watford drew against West Bromwich Albion. So, we find ourselves in eighth place. Not brilliant. We really should be up there in fifth. But uh, it's still early days, still finding the ropes. Uh, but on the table, West Ham, doing as bad as they are in real life, uh, yet to get a point. So looking at our monthly report, with one win, one draw, and two defeats, not the best. I mean, the best thing to come out of it is Lukaku scoring some goals. Um, where are we playing? Possession. I mean, yeah, we like to play defensive. We like to play possession. Maybe we should play a little bit more sort of frontline pressure uh, which you know it will come with the team spirit once it gets up there that's going to click a little bit more uh what have we been conceding through balls uh crosses crosses are always a nightmare to try and sort out matic has been pretty successful with his dribbling his passing his uh, passes received matic is up there on most of them tackles one solid pogba's up there with a few of them italian so yeah, there's some positives to take, and there's some negatives. And anyway, we're going to move now into uh, the last couple of things, which is transfer a deadline day. Ah, so this is what we wanted, uh, team status. Yeah, so we're on 42% with the uh, owner's trust. Not great. Most goals to Kaku, most of this matter. Satisfaction of 60%. Hey, Team Spirit's up to a 79. So that's a plus. So let's have a look at negotiations. What is going on? Scouting. This is some uh, players to take a look at. I don't think we're going to worry too much about picking anyone up at this stage. Not too worried about it. We've got enough quality around. It's just about performing. Okay, so we're just going to plow through this last day of the transfer window. I am too worried about it. Um, there's a picture of Pogba and Luigi. Yeah, so let's just... We could just go next, really, and just sort of see what ridiculous transfers happen. Yeah, we're not going to worry about it. Um, we're not going to be picking anyone up. We're not selling anyone. Uh, actually, could we sell anyone? I don't think we need to. McTominay. Do we have him on loan? No, he's out on loan. Yeah, Mitchell's on loan. Tanzebe's on loan. Lingard will keep him. Joel Castro. I did put him on loan. No one's coming for him. I mean, Michael Carrick probably could sell... Just to be nice, we'll keep him. He's not really going to get playing time. But yeah, I think for the most part, you know, we'll probably leave it at that. And yeah, we'll just we'll just simulate through because I'm not too worried about it. I want to see what transfers have gone through with other teams, though. So, team of the month, there it is. Coutinho, Sanchez, none of our players on there. Coutinho, Matip, Williams... Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what a game we have coming up. Manchester United taking on Barcelona. This game is probably not going to be an easy one, to say the very least. All right, let's have a look at some of these transfer news and uh, see if there's any mental transfers. I'm having a look at some with a high price tag. Gosling has gone somewhere from Bournemouth. Arsenal just seem to be selling everyone. I mean, I, I don't get that. Iwobi's gone. Um, there we go. There's a couple of big ones here.
Funes Mori has gone to Liverpool from Everton. Jigelka has gone from Everton. Sorry, wrong way around. Everton to Liverpool. Everton to Liverpool. Would you sell a player from Everton to Liverpool? Pretty big rivals. I don't know. Uh, who else have we got? 15 million. Milner has gone from Liverpool to Everton. Rudiger has gone from Chelsea to Everton. Hilarious. Uh, Zuma has gone from Stoke to some place. I don't even know who that is. Anyone else? A border has gone from Leicester to Inter. McCarthy's gone from Everton to Club Deportivo Laganes. Interesting. Let's just go through. Alex Textier has gone to Bayern Munich. Uh, Monreal has gone from Arsenal to Man City. Okay, interesting there as well. Arta has gone to Chelsea from Bournemouth. When Aldum has gone from Liverpool to Chelsea, just oh man, some of these transfers ridiculous. And I think we had a look at all the rest of these. So yeah, all right. Well, there are some ridiculous ones in there. I don't know. That's Pez for you. And then we'll be back in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. We have got a big game coming up with Barcelona. Uh, not looking forward to it, but uh, it should be a good. Good bit of fun. Rashford is apparently buzzing, so we're going to have to stick him in the lineup. But yeah, once we get that team spirit up, we can start playing around with things a little bit more. But until next time, if you guys enjoyed it, subscribe. We'll be back shortly. See you guys in the next one. Take care.